Yo. Hey. What's up, buddy? Oh, not too much. How about yourself? Marvelous. Thanks for joining the show. I appreciate no it. Um, I know you're busy. Uh, I think this is the first time I've talked to you. I, I want to say I don't remember anything else. Uh, yeah, voice to voice. We've had our we've had our goes on Twitter. I, oh, I've yeah. never tried to karate fight you before, but mm -hmm. uh, we've had our goes. Okay, okay. Everybody, my audio's good, boys. I think it's pretty good. Is it echoing back through mine at all? No, I I sound fine. Okay, I don't know. Okay. I hear fine. Because if it if it does, I can just put on a headphone or something. Uh, I, uh, everything sounds good, but uh, yeah. Well, first of all, I want to congratulate you. I know we are similar in the uh, fatherhood. I think this is our first Madden, uh, at least launched with the, being a father, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I got mine like a few months behind yours. I think you said yours is nine, mine's six. Yeah, so how are you dealing with that? Uh, is it is it a challenge? It's definitely different on my end. Yeah, well, like that's the thing about being a piece of crap is that uh, the missus picks up for you. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. But uh, you know, sometimes I'm stuck all day. I have I have daycare, my own what's your, daycare. What's your, what's your you know? schedule like? Uh, hers hers is uh it fluctuates. So sometimes she goes in all day. Sometimes it's just noon to four. So uh, whenever she's home or whenever she goes to work, I gotta watch them during the day. And then I wind up streaming, you know, from eight o'clock till sometimes four in the morning. And then I gotta watch them. We don't live by any of our parents. Like we live. Our closest siblings are two hours away, so we're kind of on an island here on our own. You don't really. want to do any daycare or hire a nanny or anything like that? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think I think in the grand scheme of being a gamer, I think the biggest blessing is be able to spend time with him. It's it's really been taxing, but uh, you know, yeah, I, I think it's I think it's kind of the your stamina levels benefit. from that though. I mean, that's a lot. You, you stream a lot, and they didn't do the YouTube videos. Yep. Well, I got Mr. McCullough to do my YouTube videos for the most part. Um, so yeah, that that's yeah, that's helping me. Uh, at least you know I'm like all right. If I if I pay for it, I got to put some YouTube videos out, right? So that's definitely uh helping me for the <laughs> most part. And uh, it's going good though. But it's definitely been a different year. It's been it's been tough, but I'm glad we're both uh, handling it pretty well. Now, one of the reasons I asked you to be on here because I I, I what, you had made that comment about. Uh, the competitive yeah. was the worst ever man. And I didn't want to talk on Twitter because it's tough to really get people's mannerisms and their, their sarcasm and their level of intensity through typing. You know, it's just, I feel like you, it's, it's easier to take it wrong than it is to take it right. You know, for the most part yeah, with, uh, I, with, with typing. You can't see how angrily I'm, I'm hitting the keyboard. I yeah. Can't. Yeah, for sure. Like I didn't know. And you don't know how serious people are behind it. But uh, before we get into that, I do want to ask you about the patch. Uh -huh. And you probably played for. I, I know I watched you play a little bit today. Did, is the patch successful? Was it bad? Is it terrible? Like, what is your overall opinions on that? I'm sure you voiced them today, but I, I would love to hear them. Yeah, I, like, okay, so there's still major flaws with Madden that we both know and see on a daily basis. You know, guys acting out there like traffic cones. Like, it, it like basically you're guiding one user and ten idiots out there. But like overall, like the patch. If they do the emergency patch that they talked about with RPOs and include the the issues of uh, players freezing or when you're trying to make routes and stuff, right? Like mm -hmm. your players, you just can't make them. If they fix that, if they fix a few of the other things, they've changed the way some coverages play, but that's something that we can adapt to. Like, you know, cover twos and now bumping my guys 30 yards down the field. I used to have touchdowns. With, I know you like the, like the 30 yard cloud flats defense mm -hmm. and that shit I used to eat up in trips. Now in trips, when I streak down the sidelines, they bump into the 30-yard cloud flat, so I throw an interception, and that's pissed me off. So that's something that I got to adjust. I got to find a new cover two 30-yard beater, I guess. But uh, overall, like, the patch outside of people's, like, literal, like, game not playing and people, like, literally getting destroyed out of solo challenges, right? Like, their, their games mm -hmm. are crashing. They're losing the solo battles. They're, they're, they're no money spent squads. I know, I know how big into solo battles you are oh, yeah. uh, on your no money spent, but other people are the same way. Uh that that just can't happen right oh, yeah. the worst thing that can happen to somebody is losing their game and losing their progress right like say say you play like a single player game and uh, your save file corrupts how pissed are you how much are you going to play that game going forward so it's it's the the bugs in this patch that are the biggest problem and it's just like it's, it's exactly what happened last october patch remember that shit where it was all everybody's dropping pat balls mm-hmm yeah. yeah so same shit happened they introduced some bugs into this one and hopefully they can fix it soon that's my opinion how about you 
Uh, I, I feel like the bugs have been the problem with the game the whole time. You know, I've never had a, I, I never thought the game was terrible in its, you know, in its skeleton, so to speak. It's really just, you know, just the, the, the glitchy stuff, like the, the X, the squiggly lines all over the field. Obviously the game crashing is terrible. It really is just like the, not the way it plays, just the way it, it works. If that makes sense. Like the, the way it you know, just doesn't seem yeah. to function properly as a video game sometimes you know the glitchy stuff rather than the actual gameplay is what has always held this game back for the you know month and a half it's been out you, you and i like see this game so differently on that aspect like when i yell at the game i yell at the devs when you yell at the game you yell at your opponent it, I, i've noticed this watching your stream too you get you get fucking i, I it, no I, why do you not really blame the devs for a lot of the like in unbound um I don't know. I normally just yell at my opponent because that's what I'm playing. Like I don't, I don't know. And they're they're the ones that choose. And 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 more often than not, um, I normally get more mad when when they're they're actually popping me a little bit. That's that's when you get a little bit more angry with them. But uh, I I just think that's more about just the comp competitive side. Really, just like that's the person I'm playing. I mean, I'm not playing the devs. I don't really, you know. And I've always like no. Nah, what's that? Go ahead. Uh, I, I don't want to cut you off. No, I'm just, I've never been, the devs aren't the reason I'm losing or giving up first downs, you know? I mean, I feel like I've always been an accountable person for the most part. Like, I need to do it on my own, you know? It's not anybody else's fault but my own. I normally just yell at my opponent because they're on the other side of the sticks, pretty much. That's about it. Yeah, but, like, it's like you're it's like you're fighting your opponent and the devs at the same time sometimes, though. And, like, your, your opponent's always going to fight you, right? You don't get in a boxing match and get pissed at him for hitting you in your face. Right, yeah. you get you get pissed at the ref for fucking up and like tripping you. Like today, my Dan Marino threw a ball twenty yards short, not under pressure, nothing, and it got picked off. I'm a, I'm a fucking y'all dumb. My guys not jumping for fucking picks. I'm gonna yell at the devs for doing that. It's not my opponent making my players play like shit. It's it's Clint and his awful fucking coding. He's out here like, oh yes, uh, uh, let's let's do player ratings on the field. You get plus five zone for being able to react to that ball thrown at the linebacker better. Right? He's out there like. Like circle jerking with NFL players instead of in the fucking like being an absolute nerd doing like twelve hour days fixing the fucking game which we truly need in this shit. Mm, so I, I feel like Clint should be. I think we need a nerd doing that. Clint's not really a nerd, so we need more nerds. It's too cool, man. Yeah. Well, well, it, can you be a nerd it. in the NFL? No, you. I, I don't think it's possible. Except that Colts kicker that I watched the other night with the glasses. That guy had. <laughs> yeah, that guy has to be a nerd confirmed. I don't think it's possible to be like a, at least a lineman. Uh, who knows? Maybe old linemen are kind of smart and nerds, but uh, I don't think you yeah. know. I, I, I don't know. Who knows? I. I mean, for me, it's just. I. I don't know. I feel like they're playing with the same devs, and and I yell at my players too on the field. I yell at the individual players. Sometimes it's you know it's it's Revis's fault or it's Sean Taylor's fault or it's Haynes' fault. You know I you know I don't know, but I just feel like the game is the. I, sometimes I don't want to say I accept it, but you know it it can suck. But it, during the game, I mean, I, my first thought isn't it's Clint's fault all the time. Sometimes for sure. And then the other thing about it, when you get cheated, right? You said Dan Marino do the ball twenty yards short. You know what the hell can you do about it? You know that's the best thing about streaming is that everybody sees you get hold. Like I mean, whoop de doo da for the most part. You know I mean, it sucks, but you know I feel yeah, bad. I feel more bad for the score. kids. Yeah, they also see the final score and bully your ass too. Oh yeah, well I get bullied all the time. That's pretty much you know that's pretty much what this is about. In fact. Uh, the more I went on stream, the more dead and boring it is on my on my part, for the most part. The more I, that's why people like no money spent because sometimes I get my shit pushed in, and probably it's probably about you know thirty percent of the time I get my shit pushed in. So you know, but do you think stream is more popping when you lose it? I'm just in such a foul mood. I feel I feel like the stream's in an awful spot. I don't know. I I don't really necessarily look at the chat so much as how much like I I put out there. I don't. I, it feels it's strange that you see the other way. Um. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I definitely feel like they love trolling. I feel like people watch me and then like, like when they see me getting popped or they see me getting mad, they, it, they kind of brings, you know, brings a human side to like a robot essentially. Like, oh, this guy is good. He doesn't lose. But then when he starts getting popped, it's like, okay. You know, it makes them happy. Like, I'm not the only asshole that's yelling and cursing at my players or like you said, cursing at the devs. I'm not the only person that does that. 
And then I got the sounds to play when the hell I start getting popped and they're playing Titanic flutes all the time. And some of these assholes are, they have the Titanic flute queued up. I'm telling it is 24 seven because they hit that bitch at the perfect time. Every time, soon as I throw a pick, I hear a Titanic flute. It is, it, it cannot be just rehearsed better than that. And that, that's what the chat does for the most part. I just, I do feel like when I lose, it's like, okay, this guy's not that fucking good. I'm, I'm, I'm just as good as him. You know, he's real. He's not, he's human for the most part. You know, and I think it's, and I think you almost got to play into it, and and it sucks, dude. It's gotten to the point where I I I do an interception to lose a tournament game, Madden. I want to say it was last year. Yeah, maybe it was. I don't remember, Chad. You guys, it was on a run commit, and I do an interception. It happened. It was literally like money drive for the game. He ran commit, yeah. and I do an interception. Yeah, it happened. Yeah. And you know. They killed me instantly. I'm not talking. It wasn't a weekend league game. This was like I was like two games away from making the, the LCQ finals or anything like that. I, it was it was actually brutal. It was actually like a terrible play. I overthought, and they just killed. They just drug me instantly, and I was I, and I was I was honestly that was probably one of the most down I've been in Madden. Like really, actually sad. I cut the stream off instantly, and I sat there. And then I, I realized, like, 10, 15 minutes of my sorrow, I realized these assholes are still in my chat, dude. They're still here talking. And I'm like, bro, these dudes huh. really fuck with me. So then I booted back up and just kicked the whip and realized, like, uh, you know, you got to be able to lose. Uh, you got to feel both sides of the, the loss and the win, you know. So that, that was definitely um, definitely a rough time. But I, I do when, feel when, like when? losing is, is – uh, you have to lose to be a successful streamer, I think, at some point. I think 10%, yeah. 5 to 10% losing is, like, ideal. Yeah, 5 to 10% losing, and you're still one of the best in the world, even at that rate, if you look at just, like, leaderboards. But how do you not get, like, I – when I start losing, oh, my God, I get so fucking complaining, and I can hear it, and I just, I just fucking hate it. And I, I don't know what else to talk about. Um – I don't – I don't know. I don't really complain about I, – I'm more – I mean, I don't mean to, like, blow my own horn, but at first, I don't really lose that often on stream that often. I mean, no money spent, I do, but it's not like I have... I have kind of a built-in excuse why I'm getting drilled, and I still get pissed off, but my biggest thing with Madden has always been, dude, I can lose and just search for the next game. You know, I've always mm -hmm. felt that way. I've always... Even when I was playing without streaming, even when I was playing... Uh, you know, when I'm streaming, I can always just get back on the next game. Now, I, I played fancy last night. He fucked me up. I was a little salty, and I and I won like four games after that. But you're still playing them four games, smiling, but you're still thinking about that one time I got popped. You know, an oh, hour yeah. ago at that point. That's kind of how I, kind of how I work, kind of how I'm wired for the most part. But I, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I just, I, you know, I've definitely I, carried bad losses into the fucking night too. I'm like, just forget about it. It's fucking Madden, but. Let's get let's get back, let's get here what we got. I got I got you know I promised Foxy about an hour here, so let's let's get to it. Comp Madden. I, yeah, oh, you're the host. Why am I host? Sorry. Yeah, well you're good. Do your thing. It's it's easier to do this with somebody that knows how to talk. You know, that's a lot easier. You know, sometimes you have people. I've had every belt winner on the show, and sometimes it's a little difficult. You know, but uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, you made the comment that competitive or Madden or I guess it, and you cleared up just the tournaments being here was uh, one of the worst uh, things for Mutt in general. And I, I want a broader, you know, explanation of that for the most part, you know. Like, all right, Comp Mad why did Comp Madden die in the mid-2010s? Uh, I think, first of all, I'll be honest, I was tw I played Madden 08 and Madden 09 pretty comp, you know, going to all the tournaments and everything. Between that, I definitely had, like, I was like, tw I don't know how these kids do it when they're like 21 to 26 playing Madden. Like, that's all they do. I really was kind of playing, but I wasn't like locked in like I was, you know, now that I'm an older guy. So uh, I, I want to say Virgin Gaming was really popping. Then they had a big, a big like fight kind of in one of the events and stuff, and it kind of died down in Virgin. And, and honestly, I don't know what happened to the Madden Challenge. I don't, I honestly don't have answers what happened to it for the most part. Uh, I don't know. I think I, I, I think it was low viewership, right? When they're back on, on regs and stuff. And here's the thing. It's like, if Comp Madden stayed in regs, I've I got no problem at all. I, I it, It's perfectly fine. Like, Comp Madden, the best thing about Comp Madden and, and why I think it's, it's great is the fact that it's given you and so many other people that just play Madden 
money to pursue that passion all right that's that's great and, and i think that's awesome that ea puts that money out there that people can live off it right like you know you got a bunch of like pro professional streamers that don't have to oh not stream sorry players that don't have to stream uh, and they get that all right now that would have been great and, I, and if it stayed in regs and you got balanced regs around it play your squads i know when when they when uh ea forced y'all into mutt there was a lot of negative talk they hated mutt they didn't want to come into mutt they liked regs they want to stay in regs mm -hmm. i was like please stay in regs like uh, we're the mutt we're doing okay here right we're, we're we're just living our own world it was such an underground like, like it wasn't like the biggest part of Madden at the time but now it easily has become um so like then it came into mutt and we see so many changes to mutt over the years due to it right due to competitive tournaments and and the thing is like would competitive Madden have the viewership it would have right now if it weren't for Ultimate Team? No, probably not. I think it helps. You know, I, I think so. But at the same time, I, you know, I think and in, in that most of Madden players still don't play regs, you know, or, or at least there's a huge chunk of people that play Madden that watch football that just play regs and don't really get into mutt, you know. So uh, I think – I think Mutt helps it because it gets the same viewership that YouTube and everything else gets, obviously. But I do think there's a huge crowd of people that just still play regs for the most part. Yeah. And I think I think it's it's Mutt is also a plus. I honestly think there should be I, I think this going all to Mutt was a little wild. I did think there was always a place for that regs tournament, no matter where it is, uh no matter what part of the year it is, I always think there's a place for that, at least one of them. So the going all to Mutt was, is kind of wild this year, but I definitely think it, it, it helps in, in the grand scheme. I think Mutt helps giving away the Mutt cards, people being able to watch the Mutt cards and talk about them, I think helps in the grand scheme of things. So outside of, you know, giving money to community members, what has competitive benefited Ultimate Team? How has it benefited? And you know, this these are the questions, and <laughs> these are the questions that EA's budget asks the competitive team, right? What have you done for us? You know, is the viewership good enough to keep putting out millions of dollars for this competitive thing? I don't know. What what has it done? Uh, it's brought. I I don't know if it's brought more players. I mean, that's honestly a many, great question. What has competitive done for the mutt community? You know, how many I, uh. How many players like I, I didn't I don't look at those leaderboards or whatever. How many players actually played in this like these these qualifying for this Thanksgiving tournament? How many people are playing? I, bro, I would probably tell you I uh, guess guess how many people played? Five, no more than a thousand. I yeah. don't think. You know, well, what, chat, what do we people? think? I don't know. Like how many of you guys do you think 2300 5k okay. people played? Damn, and I made, top, I made a top a, twenty in the first in one day. I might be goaded. Yeah, five thousand people played um, a competitive game, right? Like at least one. Okay, yeah. I don't know how many how many played multiple games. Whatever you guys, uh, whatever it doesn't matter. That's out of like the millions and millions and millions of of copies they sell, right? About like six mm -hmm. million a year in Madden, right? Mm -hmm. So five thousand people is is their entire million dollar plus prize pool. Plus, and I think this is actually even more money that EA puts in is is the uh, uh, what what the hell do you call it? The organization around the tournament, right? They pay oh, RG yeah. salary and benefits. Oh, yeah. They pay they pay Matt Markow and whoever else is is doing comp stuff. They got that studio. They got all that stuff. They got all this focus around comp and like and organizing big events. You know this with your tournament, it's not easy, right? Like with your you know bot wars that you do. Yeah. Yeah. So like. That is a ton of organizational effort and, and uh, money that is going into Comp Madden and into Mutt that, that maybe, maybe, and I'm not saying it would go all back into gameplay, it would all go back into, you know, Franchise, Ultimate Team, other portions of the game, but it does feel like the organizational uh, uh, focus of, of Madden is kind of slanted a little bit. And it, it doesn't help the overall product that they, there is so much try, uh, effort there. And and as a comparison, look at what Rockets has done with Mutt.gg this year, right? Last year, he's been running Mudhead forever. Yep. And then, like, I think he even said himself, I mean, there, there was just so much effort around the competitive tournaments that he put on the weekly basis on those Fridays. That, like, he wasn't really able to update the site as much. Now that he's kind of off of Mudhead and he's doing Mutt.gg full time, do, do I mean, you probably know that site is significantly better than Mudhead. 
Absolutely. I mean, I, I was using them the other day just to make a video about, I didn't know you could even compare people's abilities and what do they get and what do they don't get. I mean, definitely has yeah. been, been a lot better for sure. You know, I mean, well, that's, that's, yeah. Okay, go on. Sorry. I, don't mean to I just feel like the resource thing is like, I mean, that's, that's an EA problem. You know, I think, I mean, essentially you could talk about anything that's that anything else other than mutt is taking resources away from mutt you know i could come out here and say you know franchise is taking resources away from competitive you know what i'm saying or i, I could say the yard or or the other dumbass modes they have are taken away from from yeah. mutt or they're taken away from competitive that, that needs to be in a prize pool you know that's yeah, basically you know? Like, here's the thing comp is not the number one issue at ea my my point was that it has hurt the game mode of mutt and and uh it, it's probably not great as an organization for mlb to go the same way but face of the franchise is an awful fucking game mode that's the first thing that needs to be cut right but right. like, competitive man in tournaments like probably on the things that need to go like like third or fourth that that needs to be scaled back like and so in the eas like they got other problems so like when i say competitive and the issues that it brought and the game balance issues like you know how draft champions used to be fun and then they introduced the pay to win and then became like it became the competitive madden they brought in elo and so like these things have warped around competitive madden but like again ea's like you know no money spent hate and, and some and the, the absolute just hatred of of their player base is the number one thing that's a problem but competitive itself has drawn a lot of effort and like how what, what's the last time Mutt has got any sort of like innovative thing, right? We got stats on cards this year, right? Halftime adjustments. Where the hell are those? They didn't work. I was excited about stats. Super pumped about stats from playing so much MLB. I was. I can't wait to see how many touchdowns I throw, and then they don't work at all. You're right. Like we, uh, we talked about this. Uh, I had a conversation with somebody this week about what was the promotion of Madden this year. What was their new feature? What was it? Halftime adjustments. Was that, uh, that was that yeah, Madden the whole the whole game? What was the new was feature? Shaky cam on home field advantage. <laughs> home field, yeah, momentum. That was it. Momentum. I mean, that's. I mean, looking at it, kind of a L. Grand scheme of things, they, momentum was kind of a L. Huge fucking L. <laughs> and 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 the issue, like, there's so many things, quality of life features that they should be focusing on, like custom audible saving game to game formation subs, all so many things. That it just feels like it blows my mind that they can't do them and they do like fucking shaking of a stadium like college football and they bring it into mutt as like a big selling feature of it like like they gotta know we're not stupid right yeah i mean listen i still have squealy lines i hope this patch uh got our squealy lines out of here but you know i still had them as of three days ago so we'll see yeah, yeah but like I, yeah but my point was i'm oh, sorry i don't want to cut you off go ahead no i just i i feel like I, I feel like there's no downside of having the competitive field. You know, I, I don't think there's a downside. I, you know, I, I, I listen, I played Mutt exclusively pretty much Madden 16 before they – Madden 16 was the year they were like, we're having a Madden Championship Series. It's going to start on draft champions in the middle of the year. And I played the hell out of Mutt. And I'll tell you, Mutt was some sweaty fuckers on Mutt. It was. And it, it, it would be no matter what, even if the comp dudes weren't there. It, it was sweaty as hell. And, uh, you know, they introduced Mutt. And, and I, I honestly don't think there's a downside of having having the competitive people play mutt. I, I really don't, uh, well, you know. I mean, I, I, I'm here, okay. So the the downside of competitive and mutt is some of the changes they made to the game mode, right? Joke complained a few years ago when when Comp was in Madden Ultimate Team and in Salary Cap or whatever it was. He complained on Twitter about the you know people blocking him so they don't have to match up. Like back then, do you know how many like you 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 understand how many like you know field goal block glitches, disconnect glitches, desync glitches that were in the game. So like if you got hit with somebody, you blocked them, you didn't have to match up with them again. Joke went on this like rampage of oh, adding yeah. Mark Hop, adding everybody about this that he's getting blocked, he can't go up in the leaderboards because of it. And, and they end up taking that feature out. So and then I asked Mark Hop on Twitter, I'm like, okay, because he's put out something saying, all right, we're monitoring the online uh, ladders for this for people doing this field goal block glitch and then i tweeted i'm like well what about the rest of us and he's like sorry is essentially i think what he said basically it's it, it, we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna fuck about you so that's like the direct thing where we used to be able to say hey you're a piece of shit let me block you so i don't have to match up with your piece of shitness again and that got taken away from more of the the, the casual guys right like 
and, and I get it from a comp point of view. That was an awful fucking thing that shouldn't happen. And, you know, it is what it is. But, like, from the majority of the player base, that hurt us. Yeah, I mean, I see, I look at it as, I, I mean, I, first of all, it's bad both ways. If, if you could block people, then it's shitty for com- competitive ladders because I can block all the good people and play shitters all day. So it's bad for the competitive thing if you could just block people and just play shitty people. That's just bad. Joke was right. You shouldn't be able to just block people and not play them. But at the same time, I mean, you're right, too. I think it's just a bad, bad situation. I've always felt, I don't know, maybe this is the older me. I'm not, I'm 34. This was like, if someone's glitching and cheating the shit out of me, like, God bless them, dude. I, I don't really get too mad about that shit, you know, because, like, that's like crab stuff to do. I just brush off the crabs at this point. But I will tell you, in my prime of gaming, when I was a, when I was a super gamer or whatever it would piss me off for sure and it would, it would grind my gears so i definitely understand what it's like but now at this point in my life i just that stuff doesn't bother well, me and and that that was one year you know so you know what i'm saying so i i need i need to see the other examples because uh, i mean i don't like i said you had a couple i remember you talked about the effects on the actual gameplay yeah and, and like so so w i was i was in your stream i don't know this was a few weeks ago but you admitted back in the day you used to DC people offline too back in like uh, the old. Oh uh, yeah, the safety. You used to go get a safety. Oh uh, yeah, you used to try it. Hell yeah. Sometimes you gotta get people out of there when they. Ju- you I know, it, it, it is, bro. It is a <laughs> battlefield in gaming. Let me tell you something. There's a battlefield. Gears of War. I, you sometimes when you're getting popped, you gotta start crab walking in Gears of War. That's how it works. Sometimes you gotta jump out of the map in Gears of War. Guys, if you never cheated, did, did you really have fun playing video games in your lifetime? I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. Like you gotta try. Shit. I wasn't the guy looking doing this shit every game to move up the leaderboards. Like I wasn't that guy. But shit. Sometimes down, somebody right? gotta. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they gotta get them out of there. So I don't necessarily like. Uh, I, I, I don't love your your opinion on the on the whole uh, whether it's it's cool or not to block people for desyncing. But I get what you're you're saying. When you go down, get them out of there so you can get the Ws. Um, yeah. All right. So what about like all right, comp in general? Let's let's flash back to Madden 20 yep. and the overbalanced like the overpowered run game and stuff. Madden 20 was like the essential. Uh, like I heard this from from EA and, and people at EA. He said. Because of the amount of, of comp players and players themselves complaining about patches in the game and, and changing people's offenses so they have to adapt, which in my mind blows my, my mind, right? Like that, that that's, it, it sends blows my mind because comp players should be the best at adapting in the game to yeah. any changes, right? Yes. You guys, like, you're, you're, that's what you do. You put all the time. Like, so if like the meta's set, EA fucks up the meta, who's going to be best quickest? It's the comp players over the, the rest of the shitters in Weekend League or whoever whoever yeah. can adjust the best is the best comp player. Yeah. So, anyways, in Madden 20, they had heard the, the, the feedback, and they said, and the feedback said, don't patch your game. Don't change your game. Just leave it as it is. Let us adjust to it. Let it. And so Madden 20, with this overpowered run game, we saw from day one, they adjusted, obviously, you know, that was the first year of a lot of abilities. They adjusted Tillman. They adjusted the arm bar early on. They did make some changes to abilities and whatnot that we saw through the year. But overall, they left stretch as it is. They left dive as it is. They left our, our, our dumb asses on the pursuit angles as they were because they didn't want to, quote, unquote, overtune their game. So Madden 20 just bet, was just a shit fest all year long. And it, it stayed that way because they listened to the comp saying, don't adjust your game. Oh, wait, wait, wait. so I w- how do you know they listened to the comp? Or you just, that's just an assumption. That's, that's, fr- that, that's not an assumption. That's from internal EA. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't think anybody was cool with I don't think anybody was cool with the way Madden 20 played. I don't know if we can agree. That Madden 20 was the worst Madden I no, ever played. In your, opinion, it, in your opinion, nobody liked it. But the next year, Joke came out firing about Gunslinger. And how how passing is too powerful. All right, all right, all right, all right. first of all, I, I feel like I feel like you, you're equating the competitive scene to joke. I feel like joke <laughs> is like when you think about when you when you it's have a voice, bad dream. Joke the voice and problem. The no, voice I feel problem. like I feel like when you have a bad dream about competitive people, it's joke's face in the dream like that. He represents competitive men to you as joke. Now, joke is an extremist. I mean, and, and and I mean, we all know that it's like most of the stuff he's extreme to the point where it's like everything he says, you got to take with a grain of salt. Like it's, he's the boy that cried wolf at this point. The problem is EA doesn't take him like that. Not because I, I don't know. I don't know how they take him. I, I don't control how they take it. You know what I'm saying, but he really is the boy that cries wolf. I'll be honest. He's got a new girlfriend and he's got a dog. 
right? So this year he's really shut the fuck up. I'll be honest. You could tell a man that's getting laid consistently. (laughs) He has, I'm telling you. And when we talk about this, I'm like, Joe, bro, you done changed this year, bro. He about to turn 32. I'm telling you, he has changed so much. For real. He has not been the one bitching. He played Madden during his, what do you say, 20 to 26? Yes, the, the scum years. The scum years, for real. Your 20s, that's when you got to do the majority of your gaming, be honest, you know. So, But, no, for real, I mean. But, yeah, he has definitely been the boy that cries wolf for the competitive scene for the entire MCS circuit for the most part. Yeah, other other things, like, uh, other, like, have you never seen any comp player complaining about a a glitch being uh, patched or whatever? Absolutely. You know, they always, I, I don't know. I think joke set the precedent to complain enough to get to something gets patched. You know, I, I, I guess it works. I don't know. I don't, I, you know, there's, like I said, you, you get, you know, when you're so in, in, in trail with this, this competitive scene, you see the guys you just brush away, you know, like Earl and joke and stuff, people that complain about everything, you know what I mean? It's like, okay. But then when someone else talks, uh, that normally doesn't complain. You got to take that a little more seriously. For honestly, for for me, uh, I don't know. I don't. I I don't care about AP changes. I don't think that's that's that big a deal. You know. I don't know why that's a bad bad thing ever. You know. I don't know why how that can hurt the game for mutt people. AP that's changes. A, that's a yeah a lar- a large discussion. But like a- AP is a a very big balancing mechanism they use now. Yeah, I mean, oh. I mean, I don't know how. Just I don't there. Know. He's there, kind of big, I, but but I don't know how it how it affects. I don't know how. It, listen, I don't know how it really affects anything. Like it makes you change your team a little bit, but it really doesn't. Like how can it make that big of an effect? You know, I I, I just don't understand what's the like like like, like bench press in one step. Like bench press going from one to three changed a lot of how we played the game. Yeah, because you you couldn't do that anymore. But then, like you said, you how do you not play see how that way. changed the game? Like I'm, I'm just saying, like, what's the, what's the downside? I don't know. Like, it, it obviously changes the game. They can completely take something out of the, you know, out of the realm of usable. If that makes sense, like you can't use that yeah. anymore because it's too much AP now. You can't use it. So, you know, what's the like? You got to change up what you got to do. Like, uh, I, essentially. I was a bench press guy. I was a bench press one step. I'm putting you in the ground. I thought people sucked against it. I did. And I was very, very, very good against it passing. So I loved that, right? So personally, I was like, damn, this kind of screwed me. I can't even do this anymore. I was really good against it, and it was really easy to play defense. Super easy because it was really hard to pass against. And, if the, you know, it was a pain in the ass if you're passing. So, for me, I loved it personally. But when it changed it, like, what am I – like, I, so so now I'm getting your effect to where, damn, the AP change has kind of fucked my whole game up. I got to switch it up, right? And I just switched it up and, and played a different way. Yeah, but, like, that's – that essentially is – it's game balance and, and, and changes around it and like how you like it, it costs you then i know me and you open packs so it doesn't really matter to us but people that don't lose their training value from going back and forth and i i get it like you, you don't give a shit about them you, you constantly shit on people that uh, don't open packs and say hey if you want to be a cop you got to spend a two thousand dollars and i know it's it's your, your theory but like there are other people out there that maybe aren't into it as much as us. I mean, we can try and put ourselves into their shoes and stuff like that, and maybe their size is too small because we got big feet, but I, I feel like that does kind of affect people when they do AP changes, when uh, especially when they delay patches for tournaments. Like, I got to play on this shitty-ass game a little bit longer before they update it because some comp dudes said, hey, I don't want changes before this tournament. And and that was a little frustrating. And I think they do it a little bit better now where they just, like, maybe play the comp uh, tourneys on old patches. I don't know. Uh, but do, do they still – do they play I, comp I'll be honest. I mean, there's been patches literally the day before tournaments. You know, so as soon as you as, – just the way that you was, think that, bro, that was it's like four just days, as bad. That was like four years ago before comp complained. Yeah, I mean, they don't but, do that no more. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I, I always feel like patches are terribly timed for everybody. If that makes sense, I really do. Like, there's no good way to time a patch, really. And I, at the that's same like, time, as, at the same time, just like you said, the competitive guys are supposed to be my. I don't care if it's a day before the tournament, a week before the tournament. As long as everybody has the same time to play on it, I, that's really all that is fair to me. You know, as far as the competitive side, you know. Yeah, you're you're built different. 
Uh, not a lot of people are like you, though. Yeah, I don't know. I just I felt like that's how most comp guys are, and, you know. And, and that's I don't know. That's the point. There is no good time for a patch with comp tournaments, and and so that's like not. why hold the comp tournaments, hold the rest of us back. I mean, I I. Uh, for the most part, agree. Outside of maybe if it's like a week before the tournament, you know, you can put it out any other time. But if it's something emergency, let's go ahead. Uh, let's get it done, you know, for the most part. I don't think anybody would, would disagree with that. It was actually, I'll tell you this. We were Madden 18. We're Ultimate League. This is no lie. We Ultimate League Madden 18. I don't know if you guys remember. There was a trucking the hell out of people. Air trucking was OP. Madden 18, you would ju- – Madden 18, it was like stretch – dive and we were at the ultimate league before we were in minnesota at the super bowl then you know this is all the money they spent to fly us to minnesota which was fucking awesome so fuck your gameplay we were in minnesota it was awesome you know for us eight sixteen people it was great for the rest of y'all deal with the game but uh we had a meeting before the game it's us 16 people in ultimate league we can put a patch out right now i don't even think it was put the patch out do you want to play on the patch that will uh help get rid of air truck and you can't air truck anymore and we had a vote. They said, do y'all want to play on it or no? And the vote came back that we didn't want to play on the patch because we were afraid that we didn't know what the hell else was going to, what, hell, what the hell else was going to happen on the patch. So I don't know if that, that might have affected when it came out or maybe just when we played on it. I don't remember for sure. I want to say it's what we played on. I don't remember. But they definitely asked the group of people that were there. Do you want to play on the current patch or the or what you call it or the the patch or the current game? They definitely asked us, so we'll see. So so I guess Madden 18 was when they had us playing on old patches, even though a new patch was out, like you had just said. Yeah. So uh, I got I got uh, I got a uh, final things I gotta go. Um, I, mean, I got a couple more minutes, but uh, Fortnite. You ever play Fortnite? Yeah. Before these kids got way too sweaty and beat the shit out of me. Yeah. That's exactly my point with Madden. Yeah. See what you see what I'm talking about now? Yeah, but but the, at the same time, I'm like a professional Madden player, so I have to like put most of my time into Madden. If I was a kid playing games and I could choose, it might be different. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But do, you, do, you, do you do you understand the point of like players that got into Ultimate Team, uh, build their Ultimate Team to collect cards to, to play online, grind souls, that kind of stuff, head to head. Okay. And it's all, all, all now super sweat. Okay, so and and your my comparison to that is I'm a guy that played Fortnite. I wanted to buy the cool skins. I wanted to go out and fucking camp and build a fort. And you know what I mean I might get fucked up, but who cares? I still collected my skins. I still had fun. I still played my solos. The person that bought the game to collect cards and to build their fucking team and play solos, why do they care if they get into online and every once in a while get the shit kicked out of them? That's not their goal with the game, right? That is their goal with the game. No, their, the their, game. Their, their goal is you just said they wanted to collect, have fun, and play solos, but they don't want to play sweats. So what the fuck Put do they want to do? Their shoes. Put yourself in their shoes. Okay, I'm happy as fuck. I got my I got my theme team. I'm happy. I'm playing solos. That's my point. Why do they care if they get their shit kicked in when they play somebody good? You care if you get your shit kicked out of you in Fortnite. Why did you leave Fortnite? Because I'm shitting. competitive. That's my, you know what I'm saying? I, I care if I get my shit pushed in. I'm not there to collect they cards. They care too. No, they, they don't. You just, you just said they cared about car collecting cards and playing solos. All of it. What do you not care about winning? Listen, yeah, yeah of course That's I care about winning. That's all I care about. My point is, the motherfucker can't care about everything. You can't. That's yes, my you point. Can. No, no, but it's my point. You, you think can't. I don't care no, 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 about no, no, winning. No. But, I... you, but no, okay, this is my on. point. You can't say well, the casuals that want to collect their cards and have fun and have all that. They don't want to get their shit pushed in. Well, what do they want to do? What? That's my point. They want to win. Of course they want to win. Who doesn't then, want to then, then, win? Then step into the fucking win? ring and win. Then win. What, what do you want to just win? give them? You want to give them wins? Just, just, just here you build go. Build the fucking buildings, Dobby, and go back to Fortnite and win there. Listen, if my goal, if my goal was to be competitive in Fortnite, I would have put my all for effort into that bitch. It was. Yeah, but, but I'm a but man you This is your job. These people, they go to a fucking nine to five. They can't run bunch all day, every day. Yeah, That's their fucking job. Yeah, and I'm gonna kick the shit out of them when they match up with me. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's the world, right? 
Just like, just like anything. It's like, it's like fucking anything. Like I'm not, I'm listen, I'm not good at shit in the world except Madden and drawing pictures. That's about it. Right. But I'm good at that. So shit. And, and people, everybody has the shit they're good at. I'm good at Madden. So if I play some dude that collects his cards and works at the fucking post office, you're damn right. I'm going to put my shit up his ass. One million percent. That's how the world works. And close to him too, though. Here's the thing. It's like. The problem with this fucking game is that the comp is here fucking up our shit with blocking people and then they're gonna go and, and, and like say oh it's a competitive game why do you think the casuals are fucking ditching why do you think like youtube numbers are are, are stalling out like twitch numbers are, are 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 solid but like they're not to other games levels yeah i mean listen i i i i feel like this man if if somebody wants to collect, I feel like you can be a casual and enjoy mutt without giving a fuck whether you win or lose. And if and if you say that's no. not true, then then you're not you're no longer just the guy that cares about cards and collecting cards and shit like that. You're no longer that guy. You're a guy that wants to win in Madden. Okay, so get better or or what the fuck? What are your options? Like if you don't put your all into getting better, this shit Madden is people's not even streaming and shit playing literally just playing the game is people's jobs so yeah you you're never going to be able to compete with somebody that takes it that much more serious than you it's just not going to happen it's like that's like any field in the in the world anything in the universe you cannot compete with somebody that takes it that serious and you want to be casual that's that's impossible just like Fortnite, I was a casual dude, hard aiming over my fucking little ramp. I'm aiming at somebody. Did I take the game serious? Fuck no. I just got on, drank, and aimed over, aimed over it one by one, right? But here comes fucking Ninja, who does this shit for a living. He's kicking the shit out of me. So I said, let you me go back to the game I'm good at. Because you know what? I didn't care that much about Fortnite. I care that much about Madden. And if your little Timmy Two Shoes cares about winning that much on Madden, he's going to step up or he's going to take some losses. And there's nothing wrong with that if you're casual like you say they are. Listen, a casual player should have no problem going 500. Why? If you're casual, quote unquote. Right? But what I'm trying to say is look at this from EA's point of view all right they're going heavy into competitive and and like you said you literally don't play fortnite anymore so no. these people that are casual aren't playing madden anymore because of that kind of uh uh basically effort around it right? you get in lot you get online you play against whatever the, the meta is that time on offense on defense it's the same thing game after game a lot of times during the end of the year right now actually i think the offensive meta is pretty nice right now but that's off topic but what mm -hmm. but that's that's the point is like yes you're gonna kick the shit out of them because you're really good at it, dubby and, and like yeah. i said you're built different you're different because you're doing this because you're kicking the shit out of madden but like from a, a wider perspective us as content creators and really uh, you're one of the top content creators on twitch uh top youtube that kind of stuff and, and, and with that, like, don't you fear a little bit of the amount of people leaving the game because EA keeps pushing comp when so few people are into it, right? You said 5,000 people tried for that tournament. 5,000 out of the millions that buy this game. 5,000. What does comp bring to Madden? You, you, you basically said nothing earlier. You said, I don't know. Like, I, I yeah. told you, the best thing comp's done is give you money, give people that are competitive at the game, that play the game money. I, I agree. And at the same time, what you said it, it takes away is your ability to block people that block your field goals or glitch, your, glitch you. Right? Mm -hmm. I honestly yeah. feel like the comp shit is not, the, it's not, it's not in the top 10 of problems at EA for Madden. I, so I that, feel yeah, like, I said, and I feel like, yeah, we said it like, and honestly, I mean, if people stop playing, I, it's more because the game is shitty, not because competitive shit. You know what I'm saying? That, that, the point is it ties together. Yep. Yeah, and this one, like the kid, the Timmy two shoes, that's a casual player. That's going to go, go 500. This motherfucker was going 500 in, in Madden 16 too. All right. It wasn't, there's not some great player out there that was beating everybody. And since cops showed up, all of a sudden he don't want to play no more. You know, I, I don't, I don't know if, if that's, if that's that type of person, honestly, but you know. So basically your biggest argument to cop is that like, don't think it harmed anything. 
I honestly don't. I, I don't think so at all. And I think one, it's got Madden on ESPN. It's got Madden all over. It's, I think it's it's got a, it's definitely put a spotlight on Madden. It has more so than there was before. You know, on on I, you know. So I I don't think a I spotlight on Madden at all is is a big deal. I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. You know, with all that publicity on ESPN, I don't know how much they had to pay for it or whatever. It's not nearly the cultural impact that 0405 was. It's it's not near. To what it was oh well i think it's just a different time that you know people can watch madden 24 7 now so i think it's definitely a different time uh the madden challenge was definitely you know before it's time you know that was a big deal or for sure but uh I, I i do think i do think spotlight any spotlight on the video game is a positive for all of us really uh you know for the most part you know and 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 for me, I feel like, and I don't know if you ever, I, I don't know if this has ever crossed your mind, but for me, I, I've never given a shit about, you know, programs or new content. I've never cared about it. And I think to myself, man, I'm really getting into this content. Maybe I should, like, start caring about that, you know, play with the new cards, uh, do videos on the new cards, you know, boot up when the new cards are available. I've never cared about that. And I feel like I do myself a disservice by not getting into that more now i don't know if you, if you would get like care about the competitive stuff more because it is more content for you or and, and just like you know the new cards are more content for me i think any type of light on the game is an opportunity for for us to get you know obviously get more eyes but on top of that it's just it's good for the game overall so i, I honestly don't think the competitive thing is bad and and, and i like I said, the spotlight alone, I think, is a positive. And as far as people leaving, I think it's more about them not having fun on the game. And, and you know, that that's more about the gameplay than it is about, you know, the players they're playing, I think. Yeah, and I do agree spotlights on the game are good, but there are many ways to get spotlights, right? The best spotlight on the game is to get a high review score, right? It, it's, mm -hmm. and it, 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 it was my points I was trying to make is that, you know, earlier on, I said how much effort they have to put into these tournaments. It takes a ton of effort and organizational time to, to basically put on these things and, and basically broadcast the ESPN, work the deals, uh, work, work the uh, contracts with them. Like, there, there's so much that goes into event planning, especially at that level. Uh, Twitch, the people that work at the announcers, locate, I know it's, it's online now, but back they used to fly people in, that kind of stuff. That takes a ton of money and organizational, like, uh, time. So that's my point is, like, maybe they could take those people they're doing that stick them on fucking gameplay and then you got more people like actually you know coding this shit so we don't have bugs and our players don't fucking freeze when you try to adjust and so like these are things and and, and so i feel like close on some things but far apart on others like when i uh, when i talked about it being from an ea ea perspective and a creator perspective yourself right if the mm -hmm. game was better we'd have much more viewers right mutt fucking sucks in the last year or two with no innovations no changes because they're busy putting on these fucking tournaments in mutt because they sent so many people out like rg was one of the best gameplay guys he's the guy who thought up a fucking zone drops mm -hmm. rg is now the communication guy for comp we lost one of our best ones at, at the gameplay team and now he's over fucking doing comp stuff so like yeah i'm a little bit salty that this 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 focus is taken off of like the actual internal product and i i you know that's my whole point in but at the end of the day this is a billion dollar company right they can hire some more people right i mean it's i i feel like we have this image that there's 40 people and now they had 30 people waking up working on the gameplay but they just put eight people eight of those 30 into competitive you know I, essentially that's your argument in a, in a, in a nutshell, well, right? Like they just put some too many of their resources into these tournaments. And there's only like so that. much budget that Madden gets. They bring in I don't know, half a billion dollars a year at Madden, we'll say. A lot of that goes into, they buy back stocks $2 billion every, every other year, right? $2 billion of our cash just goes into EA buying EA stock because they like to manipulate the stock price because Andrew Wilson needs a new G5 jet every year, okay? Oh, with that said, like, so there's only so much budget to have, right? There's only so much of the pie to go around. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, you, it, for me, it would be a stronger argument if there weren't shittier aspects of the game that that could be taken out before the tournaments. And and you got to realize you're talking to somebody that really, the, the tournaments changed my life 100 percent and my family's life and everything. So for for me. 
this I'm going to die on this hill, you know, because it changed my life. It it propelled me to where I am now. So for me, it's tough to say, get rid of it. It's not good for the game, you know, because it, it has brought me pretty much my life now. Uh, so it's definitely tough to see that. But but honestly, and, and until they get rid of the, the, the 15 other modes and whatever that are, are a waste of time and stuff like that, uh, including, you know, other games that they put out. But, you know, the, you know, whatever they did have been doing with NBA Live for the last six years, you know, I felt like the wall went to Madden. But for me, uh, I, I definitely think the yard and, you know, superstar, the franchises and, and the face of the franchise, like you mentioned, all that stuff definitely comes before tournaments. And, and, and for me, I am in that niche of – uh, the competitive scene, even if it's only 3,000 people at, at most. You know, there wasn't 3,000 people playing. Uh, so for me, it's tough to, to see an angle where it's bad, you know, for, for the most part. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, good talk. And I, I do agree. Like I, like I said, there are way bigger problems and competitive, but that's why I said what I said to Mills about not spending organizational effort in MLB, and that is the strength of it. That, but not spreading themselves too thin because that is that is game bloat face the franchise is game bloat and it's it's, it's worthless and and seeing that interview with with uh sean grady today that the executive producer of madden saying hey that's that's people's intro it doesn't look like it's going away and that fucking sucks um, mm -hmm. so i definitely agree with you there uh but i gotta go uh, any any uh last questions before i head out um what do you think what is like our ceiling as madden streamers what is your like? Because I I, I I look every night. You know, I stream every night. You probably stream every day. I look, and it's like, is this the ceiling? You know, like what do you what do you vision the ceiling of Madden streamers being? I have no fucking clue. I don't think it's there's a ceiling to it. Like we saw, uh, like I know two K is a little bit bigger of a scene, but we've seen people from the Madden community, the two K community. Two K community's got like some of the biggest streamers on the on the dang uh, platform right now. And like Madden community has spit off of we've spit off Laser Beam, Lost and Unbound. We like the, the and I know that's YouTube, but the, the general love of Madden is there. And that's why I'm pissed because Mutt, which which you know had a lot of like Lost and Unbound was getting like half a million views a video, if not more, a million off Mutt stuff, off like doing like pack pack not wars, but they were doing like guess who's and stuff with TD. So like mm -hmm. there is no ceiling at all. I just I my brain on a daily weekly as much as i can how the fuck do we break it yeah mmg is a great one brock mmg gets half a million to a million views and he's doing like vlog stuff now amazing creator and why isn't twitch there why is youtube and some of it may have to do with youtube came up when like madden was coming up and whereas like twitch maybe kind of got you know when, when more newer games fortnite came out and twitch was kind of big and that's where kind of i don't know i don't know i i, I don't know what do you think <laughs> I listen. I I look at it all today, and and it's like, damn, is this really the height? You know, that's kind of how I feel. Um, I feel like I just I'm putting so much more attention on you know, obviously the YouTube and other other. I try to post clips on Twitter and videos on Twitter and TikToks and everything. I try to go to every other platform to try to direct people to to, to Twitch, but uh, I I you know, I see I I saw the, the you know the revenue leak, and I'm like, damn. How can we get Madden up there? You know, because that, that's, you know, I feel like this is a field where you always look up no matter where you are. You know, if you're at the yeah. top of, you know, we're at the top of the directory of Madden. But I, I don't look at just Madden people. If I just look at Madden people, I'll be satisfied. You know, I look, I watch Apex streamers all the time. I watch Call of Duty streamers all the time. That's who I look up to. You know, it's never, it's never ending. So I just constantly think like, how can, you know, I get to, you know, 2,000 people every time I boot up. How can I get to 5,000 people every time I boot up? Like what? you know what is that next step for the most part yeah i i agree it's tough like what were you on that list 800 something i was kind of it kind of got yeah, me, me happy i was like holy shit me i was i was 1225 so yeah but, you're but way that's ahead like, of me. oh but it's like damn like i legit have a dream job for real to be one of the top thousand streamers in the world on yeah. twitch like that's a dream job and and you, i mean you know this is a job where you're constantly you never look behind you and you're just always oh. looking forward 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 like i need more and more and more this is shitty i'm doing shitty I, I feel like that's how i always feel like i just need to do better and to sit there and say i'm one of the top thousand streamers in the universe like that's that was pretty cool honestly and then uh it kind of like you know you always need those things to kind of 
you know, bring you back to earth. Like you have a dream job. So that's definitely dope. Your top 1000, the last seven days, 4 million people booted up. 4 million people. 4 million thousand. people and I'm top thousand, 4 million stream. I mean, Hey, it's pretty dope for sure. Definitely. Yeah, definitely we're, we're tough. Both super blood. I used, I used to be more like at where I was constantly pissed a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. I, man, after seeing like this shit, I've, I've kind of calmed. I'm like, maybe, maybe, maybe that hunger is gone, and maybe I need to get hungry again and 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 start fighting and start like picking shit with like Call of Duty streamers. So that way we could draw. I don't know what the hell to do, but yeah, I constantly recommend how how to get bigger too. But I I, I no longer really feel the the hate and the need to uh, really claw my way up like I used to. No, but I do think. I mean, like I said, like we are the, the top of the man directory. The more stuff we do together, it can only help. Honestly, for real, and that's why I wanted to talk to you. I didn't want to go back and forth on Twitter because that's just terrible. For real, for real. Yeah, so, this is way better than Twitter. Absolutely, but Twitter's not a real place. That shit doesn't matter. It's not. It's absolutely. It's actually a jungle. It's actually a jungle. It's a jungle with. Pol <laughs> it's a jungle with like too many police now. That's what it is. It's a jungle with like all police. Half the people are not in the gonna, jungle, gonna, and the other half are in get police. Into that. Not gonna get into that. No, yeah. oh, not for me. But uh, that maybe maybe next topic. I I gotta go though. Hey, I appreciate W for having me on. Absolutely, I appreciate you coming. Keep grinding, buddy. Everybody, sub the chat now to W. All Everybody right, take sub. it easy, dude. All right, buddy. There it is, the fox man, the legend. I listen. I will die on the hill that Timmy Two Shoes can collect cards and be okay with going five hundred. Right. <laughs>